I go use the John, and I'm sure not many of you want to see that. <laughs> so we're down here at the Obummer campaign headquarters here on Telegraph. In support of Bradley Manning, who is looking at 150 years in prison, a military prison, not regular prison. So some people went inside. Let me get up here and... I think I'm going to kick back. Yeah, a nice little crowd of about 100 people here. Oh, for those that are new to the stream here, it's for Bradley Manning. Free Bradley Manning, who's facing uh, over 150 years in a military prison, which is bad enough to be in prison, but when you're in military prison, it's even triply worse. So, where they make you stand a certain way for hours and basically just torture you the whole time that you're in there. And regardless uh, when anybody says it's still torture. I'm not going in there. I just realized they got a you know, they're coverage. promoting a candidate for presidency. I mean, yeah, I mean, fuck I'm, Obama. I'm for getting uh, Bradley out of jail and, and freeing him. I'm in the same place you are. Charges, but I'm not supporting Obama for president. No, I Boo well, Obama! <laughs> Another war criminal! Yeah, I'm not supporting any mass murderers today, thank you. And we'll and believe you me, President Obama is a mass murderer. We definitely won't be voting for him come election time. You know, I'm not gonna vote for Rummy either. Especially now that he's got Ryan, and Ryan, I'm, you know, his policies are just totally out the wall. <laughs> Him and his randyisms, right? The sporting the totally failed, uh, failed philosophies of being ran. Who later on in her life actually went and collected Social Security, despite everything she said that was against the government and against any kind of public welfare at all for anybody. Uh, she, in fact, uh, went down to collect her benefits like everybody else. So anyway, we're down here at Obama campaign headquarters here in downtown Oakland, uh, one block from the Fox Theater. So if you're in the area, come by and drop by. We would welcome you with open arms. Come by and see me. This is Freeman Sullivan. Some people speaking inside, but it's mostly Obama campaign folks, and uh, definitely not going to be wasting my time on that crap. More empty promises. <laughs> right, took our hope away. He's taken our uh, justice away. He said he would close Guantanamo Bay. He never did that. He said he was going to end the war in Afghanistan. He never did that. So basically, Obama's lied about most of his campaign promises that he's made. So what makes you think that we're going to support you a second time around? And we certainly can't count on him to keep Bradley Manning out of jail. So... Pretty much, I've kind of missed the point of why we're down here at the uh, Obama campaign headquarters. Because he is a puppet of Wall Street. And he sold us out to Wall Street before the election was even being made. In partnership with Timothy Geithner and company. So, uh, 
Don't vote for Obama and don't waste your time. Hell no, don't waste your time. Vote for anybody. Vote for Roseanne. No, what happens if nobody votes? Yeah, well then we're going to have, then the election might mean something. Exactly. Right. I'm going to vote for Roseanne myself. <laughs> And Obama seems to think that he's got all the uh, the voters from the left and the leftist voters from the left of the Democratic Party, and he staked out his position to actually be extremely conservative, because he knows that a lot of these Democrats are going to blindly follow Obama wherever he goes, um, you know, because he's running against the Republican Romney. You know, well, we don't like Romney either, and we think he's full of shit. Um, so you basically get a choice of less full of shit and more full of shit. And what do you end up with, which is a big pile of shit. And so it doesn't matter who you vote for, no matter what happens, there's going to be a big pile of shit. And that's what we're going to end up end up with as citizens of the American government in this election. So uh, actually, you're better off just by not voting for presidential candidate. Come and vote for your propositions, support Prop 30, and, you know, vote for your, con you know, your, your, not even your senators and congressmen, because even that's fixed. But just vote on your local propositions and things like that and refuse to vote for president and then maybe when they see that enough people aren't voting for president maybe the system will change but I highly doubt it sorry for the cynicism so I wonder what his campaign slogan is this time around hope and change that we can't believe in so as you can tell, I'm pretty much thoroughly disgusted with American electoral pro uh, politics. I don't feel like it adequately represents the will of the people. And basically, you end up with a bigger tweedly D versus tweedly dummy in the election that he's running. So that's the opinion of Freeman Sullivan. We're here at the uh, Obama campaign headquarters in Oakland, California. Glad you're with us. If you're in the area, drop by. Obama's out Bush and Bush and a lot of policies and I thought it was bad when we had Gerald Bush for president but you know if it can be possible things have actually gotten worse One viewer, welcome to our broadcast. I'm sitting outside here of uh, Obama headquarters here in downtown Oakland. Glad you could join us. There's a bunch of people inside that are, I guess, part of the Obama campaign. A little music. I doubt I'm going to have an impression of Obama, but there's a few people here. Recently, the uh, Obama headquarters had its uh, windows shattered. Yeah. 
Four police are being called. I'll back up a little bit. Sun gets hot out here real fast, folks. I'm trying to find a little bit of shade. So evidently, police were called. And that if we didn't uh, vacate the premises, that the uh, arrest would be made. So it looks like people are leaving. Filing out of Obama campaign headquarters. Campaign headquarters, downtown Oakland. Some people are going to be going inside to be arrested to do civil disobedience. So the excitement is just uh, happening. Somebody brought a rabbit, and I think that was the wisest of all ideas.
plays. <laughs> people going in and out of our uh, Obama campaign headquarters. Uh, some people are planning to be uh, arrested, it looks like. I'll try and stay as close to the scene as possible. So thank you for joining us. Excited. I'll be going to uh, New York for the first anniversary of Occupy Wall Street. So, some good tickets coming up. A great spirit of resistance is here.
Steering Committee, Heather Bradley Manning, Support Network Steering Committee member here, Rainy Reitman, who can say a few words and then we can get back to the music and dancing. Sound good? Alright, listen, every, if the crowd stays like this, music and dancing, the pops are coming through and nobody's going to... You gotta start working now. We gotta get people up by the street. Hey guys, my name is Rainy Brightman, and I am very proud to have helped found this organization with Jeff and to be serving on the steering committee with him. And thank you, everybody who came out today. It's a great show, and it, it sends an important message to Obama. And I, I think this is a great spot to have our action. If you can come a little closer. It will help us make sure that we can support these veterans inside and sending their facts. So please try to try to come in as close to the door as possible. Uh, Obama campaign on declassification. He promised us the most transparent government that America had ever seen. And many yeah, right. people voted for him on that. I admit it, I voted for him, believing that he was going to give us the most transparent government. And it has been a shame and a disgrace to our nation that instead of the most transparent government, he is prosecuting whistleblowers and he is aggressively engaged in overclassification. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about our very messed up classification system and about the things that WikiLeaks is trying to undo for us so we all know why we're here today. <laughs> Government reports say that over 77 million documents we can't do were classified in 2010. A 40% increase on the year before. The number of people with security clearance exceeds 4.2 million people. That's more people than live in Los Angeles. And this is supposed to be the most transparent government ever. Our government told Air Force families that they were not allowed to read the WikiLeaks documents. Even their kids weren't allowed to read it. They weren't even allowed to read the New York Times where documents from WikiLeaks were being reported on as important to the public domain debate. Shame on them. Shame! Lawyers at Guantanamo. Yeah, for your viewers here, there's an awful lot of people that have tried it out by the door. Far from so reading the WikiLeaks documents and investigating Try to do the best to get cases. you the best pictures this possible. This is what our government believes due process is about. Shame on them. Shame! The Department of Homeland Security has become so bloated with secrecy that even the office budget and how many employees they had is classified. This is the most transparent government that we have ever seen. This is what Obama has brought us. Shame Lies. Obama. Lies. <laughs> um, uh, a 23 year State Department veteran has his security clearance revoked for linking to WikiLeaks on his personal blog. The Department of Justice has refused to release its secret interpretation of the Patriot Act, what many people believe they are using to authorize warrantless wiretaps in the United States. They won't even tell us what legal opinion they are using for this. This is supposed to be a public law, so you're supposed to have an accountable government. Last year, the ACLU sued the Department of State to declassify just 23 of the WikiLeaks cables. Of those, only 12 were, uh, only 11 were released, heavily redacted, and the other 12 were withheld even though they're freely available on the internet. And this is the most transparent government that America was supposed to be receiving. I am disheartened by Obama. I am tired of him. I am exhausted from him. It's time that we actually stood up and spoke and said that we are the electorate that is deciding who's going to be voted into office. And we have a right to actually demand that he live up to his election promises and bring us that transparent government. Yay! Yay. You got a nice little crowd. It's about 100 people here in front of Obama campaign headquarters at 1714 uh, Telegraph. The ACLU has said that the State Department... For those of you just joined. ...absurdity 
branch of the U.S. secrecy regime. And secrecy expert Steve Aftergood has said that the Obama administration's initiative to curb overclassification of national security information has produced no results to date. As a result of WikiLeaks, we know more about our government than we ever could have known without it. WikiLeaks has changed our understanding. Hey, we're getting buzzed by uh, Oakland PD. Please leave so you can count on that, folks. Look, Obama has batteries and everything. And persecuted more whistleblowers in his term, his single term, than all U.S. presidents combined before him. What does that tell you about the president and the truth? 
bunch of lies. What is the meaning of Bradley Manning being forced to salute naked, being forced to be humiliated and kept in solitary, and under all conditions seen as torture by even Amnesty International? What does this mean? It means that this American government is so criminal, so thoroughly, internationally, historically, militarily, diplomatically, politically criminal that they can't bear to have the truth be heard by the world. Well, today we're here, dozens of us, more people up and down the coast, and we're here for the world. We're here saying, Brad, well, Daddy, if you did what you're accused of, you are a hero. And you are a hero for standing up to the truth that has been given in the last two years. And we will not stand back and watch Bradley Manning go to prison for the rest of his life while the Bush regime war criminals walk free and while Obama takes every crime that the Bush regime committed against the world and makes it worse. Bush never said he could assassinate people and drew up a list every Tuesday, and that's what Obama does. Bush never bombed North Africa, and that's what the first black president is doing. We're here today to stand up for the future of the world to say, someday we want to see a world where no war crimes are committed, all war criminals are behind bars, and Bradley Manning and people like him are held up as heroes to our children and the next generation. They stood up for the people and they stood up for the truth. Please stay with us. We don't know whether the police are coming or not, but we are here, so I, you got to be here too. Thank you.
I'm right by the band, guys. And I don't want to get too far away from the door. Uh, because the way the action is going to be here in just a few minutes. Please get involved in there on the way here.
battery. Ah, battery. Oh, yeah. I get about three hours because of the fat one.